And we are back. Power Rankings Week 12 Edition. We're getting close to the end of the season. We're kind of at that point where we'll kind of start to see teams start to get eliminated from the playoffs. And a team who could be first on the chopping block is number 32, staying the same, the 1-9 Carolina Panthers. They have not looked good whatsoever. They had little hope going into next or to this game, uh, last game I should say technically, and they still lost thirty three to ten. They got destroyed. Granted, it was against the Cowboys, so you can't you know just say oh this team, you know. But uh, Panthers, I don't, I don't know how I should feel, man. Bryce Young is not looking good. You really just start hoping he takes that season two jump because. You would be drafting first overall right now, and you don't even have that pick, so that really sucks. And you you, you gave your one and done to Frank and Wright, or to Frank Wright. You should just, after this season, or right now, I don't really know what you want, say, hey, you're done. Yeah, number 31 going down a spot. We have the Cardinals. They end up losing 21-16 to to the Texans. It was a very fun game. I mean, that Cardinals team did or I should say defensively, did a lot. They did about as much as they could. They forced C.J. Stroud, who it was, maybe still is, an MVP, you know, candidate, to throw three interceptions. And they failed to win in, you know, in my opinion, a must-win game for them to stay alive in the playoffs. Because they don't have the same, you know, fortunateness that the Panthers have with being in a bad division. They got they got a seven and three and a six and four team. They gotta start something now or else they're not making it. Number thirty we have the Patriots going down two spots. Even though they uh they were on a bye week they're going down because teams are moving ahead of them. The Bears they're gonna be staying the same at number twenty nine. I I hate the Bears. I was so happy. I thought they were going. They were up two scores towards the end of the game against the Lions, and they lost. I was like, man, the Lions are actually going to lose to the Bears, and well, short lived. Justin Fields looked amazing as well, bro. I, mm, I don't know what to feel about this team besides. You have to figure something out. Matt Eberfuss, not the answer. Get him out of there. You got two top five picks. One at one and one at four, I believe, or three, somewhere around there. Make use of them. 28, we have the Commanders. In fact, we're going to show off 27 of the Giants. Commanders going down seven spots. The Giants going up four. Uh, Yeah, this was bad. The Commanders... Might not make the playoffs now. They were a team who I thought had a decent chance of making the playoffs. Now that they kind of lost and are now two games back, it looks more and more unlikely. The fact that you lost to a undrafted rookie quarterback and who plays on the Giants. The Giants. That says a lot. Ron Rivera, you also need to get out. There's no coincidence that a lot of these bad teams or teams who are low on my power rankings, I'm talking about getting rid of their coach. I mean, so far, Panthers, they definitely should. Bears, definitely should. Commanders, definitely should. Patriots, as much as I hate to say it, should look into it. I mean, this is bad. Giants, congrats on the win and going up four spots, but, I mean, you're screwed, let's be honest. 26, we have the Titans, they're going down, going down a spot. There's nothing to say about this game. 34-14, to 14. That's, that sums it up. Titans did nothing that game. And, yeah. 25 Jets. They're going down a spot. Same thing. 32-6. to 6. That's all you need to know. Besides the fact that Zach Wilson is getting benched. Not just benched. He's being the third string behind Tim Boyle and Trevor Simeon. 
He's not just becoming the backup. He's the third string. Yeah. Great job saying, oh, let's just wait for and see how he develops Jets. I don't know why he took a quarterback from BYU. So far, Trevor Lawrence looks like the only capable quarterback in that first round draft class. Maybe Justin Fields, but I don't know what the Bears are going to do with having two top five picks. It would be ludicrous not to go with quarterback. 24, we got the Rams. We can go up three spots. They pull off the upset win over the Seahawks while also injuring them in the process. So, I don't know how to feel about the Rams. I feel like that was a very targeted game for them. But this is good. I mean, they managed to pull off the win, keep their playoff hopes alive. And when I say alive, I mean, like, actually doable. But now you're down Cooper Cup for who knows how long. Again, one of the most injury-prone guys. <sighs> Oh, you got to make something work, man. I'm really rooting for you. 23, we had the Buccaneers down three spots. You might be wondering. They only lost by 13 points to the 49ers. 27 to 14, that's not bad. That score is so misleading. They got destroyed. Plain and simple, got destroyed. I mean, there's nothing to say about this game either. 22, we got the Packers going up four spots. They managed to pull off the upset win over the Chargers. This shocked me. I was not expecting this. You, you, you might not know, but I am like such a sucker for the Chargers in a sense of if they didn't have Brandon Staley as their head coach, they would be a top five team. But they do. And the fact that the Packers won that game says a lot. So... And maybe Green Bay makes a run. Who knows? We got the Lions and then the Chiefs. Ah. Whatever. 21, we have the Raiders. They're going to be going up a spot. Even though you lost, you looked very good. You held the Dolphins to 20 points. And you only lost by 7 points to them. And this is to note. You did injure Tyreek Hill, so that's a big thing. But... but you're having an interim head coach and a rookie quarterback. A day free rookie quarterback. I mean, that's a great scenario for you guys. You guys are five and six. You're looking very good so far. I'm excited to see how these next few weeks kind of shape. Because I would not be surprised if you snuck into the playoffs. And I'm really rooting for uh, this interim head coach, Antonio Pierce, and Aiden O'Connell, the rookie quarterback, to work out. Number 20, we have the Falcons going down a spot. Well, you see, they had a bye week. So, and so did the 19 Saints. So, so did the 18 Colts. They all, all three of these teams went down a spot, by the way. Number 17, we have the Chargers. They're going to be going down five spots. I can't anymore, man. I feel so bad for Justin Herbert and, like, Keenan Allen. These are, this is one of the best roster teams in the league. They just have horrible coaching. And they deserve to honestly probably be competing for the one seed in the AFC. And they're right now multiple games out of the playoffs. That says a lot. That's all that I legit can say about this team is how like bad they are because of their coach. 16, we got the Steelers going down a spot. Listen, you lost. Not surprised. You finally lost one. But you did fire Matt Canada. So, realistically, this the rest of the season should either be a like a good thing or you're going to somehow realize Matt Canada was a genius and you failed. I'm hoping personally, you know, the first option because I also don't like Matt Canada. So, go Steelers. 15, we got the Vikings. They're going to be going up a spot. Even though you lost, you kept it close with the number 14 Broncos who are going up a whopping nine spots. I'm starting to believe a lot in this Broncos team. I'm starting to believe a lot in this Vikings team. I think both of these teams have a very good shot to control their destiny. Uh, 
Broncos are currently like half a game or so or a game out of the AFC. And the Vikings currently hold a two-game lead over the eight seed, and they're currently the seven. So both of these teams looking like they have a pretty good chance. Thirteen, we got the Bengals. They're going to be going down two spots. Your season might be over. You have a chance to, you know, I would say keep it alive with a big win over the Steelers if you manage to do that. But Joe Burrow being out for the season is such a gut punch, man. I feel horrible for you guys. But also, it kind of brings up the point that everyone was talking about in the offseason on Joe Burrow is amazing. Let's we Everyone knows that. But he is so injury prone. This is Andrew Luck. All right? This quarterback who I'm talking about right now is Andrew Luck. Constantly injured. Constantly putting up numbers when he's on the field. But you can never rely on him to stay on the field. Number 12, we have the Seahawks. They're going to be going down two spots. You lose your, your starting quarterback and running back. Those are two of your top three players. Top four players on offense. And it's fine because you're like, oh, we got a good quarterback and running back. If one gets injured, we can just rely on the other. But both got injured. So, you know, it's not great. You're still, you know, you still have a uh, two-game lead as well uh, over, you know, the eight seed. You're currently the sixth seed. So you're also looking fine, and hopefully you know both of them aren't very serious. I have no status on either of the injuries. The Bills are number 11 up three spots. 32-6. to six. They finally get their bounce back when they are looking forward to stay alive in the playoff race. And if they are able to play like this every week, don't be surprised if they make a run. Currently, the one seed is at... Three losses. I would not be surprised if the Bills gave them, you know, a run for their money. At least Dolphins. Ten, we have the Texans. They're going to be going up three spots. Look at that. I never thought I'd see this. The Texans are in the top ten. This is groundbreaking. I mean, they have looked phenomenal. Even last game against the Cardinals where CJ Shaw made a lot of mistakes. They still played so well to keep, you know, get the win. And, you know, you just got to, like, give a round of applause for this team showing a lot of fight. What's crazy is they're playing the Jaguars. When you have this, that game will be leading the division. So, I mean, they have a chance to be, you know, a, uh, a, like a division leader. They have a chance to play a home game. Number nine, we got the Jaguars. They're going to be going nowhere. They stay the same. I just can't be super hype on you for that big win when you just got you destroyed. I feel like you might be the Dolphins where you can you beat the bad teams, but you can't beat the good ones. Speaking of, they're going to be going down a spot uh, because we're going to be swapping them with the Browns, who are going up a spot. I have no idea why. It's just the fact that the Dolphins struggled and the Browns didn't, you know, well, the Browns did, but they have a rookie day three quarterback, so that's no surprise. The Dolphins, on the other hand, have one of the best rosters in the league and struggled against a pretty bad team. We're going to swap them around. Same with the Ravens and 49ers at five and six. There go 49ers up a spot, Ravens down a spot. Granted, the Ravens did not struggle. They just lost Mark Andrews. More than likely for the year, I've heard there's a potential that he returns, but I highly doubt it, so I'm not going to say he's going to. But I could see this, this uh, both of these teams, you know, making runs. The Ravens currently the one seed now, so they're doing their thing. And I hate to be that guy, but 4-3-2-1, all the same. They all played amazing to get their win. The Lions did scare me for a sec, but they managed to pull it back. And that Chiefs equals game, obviously, I did say I would probably swap the Cowboys and Chiefs if, you know, the Chiefs got blown out, but they didn't. They held their own. So that's going to do it. I hope you guys enjoyed. I did. I'll see you guys next time with predictions. Goodbye and hope you enjoyed.